If you think the contestants have a lot of costume changes, what about our troop of players? They've been a dragon, uh, an ocean wave, then presto, a lantern. Now they're butterflies. And beautiful ones at that. According to Chinese legend, the butterfly is the symbol of the changing nature of beauty and the freedom of the human spirit. The national flower here in the Republic of China is the plum blossom. It signifies the harmony of nature and man, and since it blooms in the winter in spite of the cold, cold weather, it also symbolizes the perseverance of the Chinese people. Let's welcome back our 10 semi-finalists as I head over to pick up the computer results to find out who makes the final five. One of our 10 semi-finalists, you've seen and heard everything our celebrity panel has seen and heard. Now you get to compare your choices with those of our judges. Looks like Alan's ready. Here are the names of our five finalists, compete title of Miss Universe 1988. Again, the names will be read in no particular order. Here we go. Of the five finalists, one of them is Miss Mexico. Also still eligible, Miss Hong Kong. Let's hear it for Miss Korea. Two chances left, and one of them is Miss Japan. One more young lady in the universe can be crowned this year, and she is... Miss Thailand! <laughs> One of these five young women will be the next Miss Universe. How about your selections? Did your original choice make it this far? If so, nice work. If not, try again. The odds are better now. Judges, this is their final deliberation. They will observe as each finalist comes center stage, and at that moment, each judge tells his computer whether that young woman should be fourth, third, second, first runner-up, or in fact, whether she should be the new Miss Universe. One judge, one vote. Let's begin with Miss Mexico, Amanda Olivares. Amanda hopes to have a career in the import business, but before that, she'd be happy to become Mexico's newest export to the world. Her answer is going into the computer now. Miss Hong Kong. There has never been a winner from Hong Kong. Pauline Jung is hoping she'll be the first. She's an actress, and she's trying to act calm in front of the judges. Miss Korea. Chang Yung Chong is a dance student. But right now in Taipei, she's a finalist, and that's all that's on her mind. Miss 
Miss Japan. Mizuho Sakaguchi has already made a great impression on the judges. Will they make a lasting impression on her by awarding her the title they all came to claim? Miss Thailand. There has only been one contestant from Thailand to ever win Miss Universe, and that was 33 years ago. Porn tip hopes it's time again. The judges have made their final deliberations. The computer is making its final tabulation. We'll have those scores, but first a moment with Tracy and a very special guest. Our Miss USA pageant took place in February. Miss Universe is about to reach its final moment. Then there'll be just one more stop in our triple crown of beauty, the Miss Teen USA pageant. That's when this beautiful young lady will see her successor crowned. She's our reigning Miss Teen USA, Christy Addis. Christy, what are your thoughts? Tracy, I have had an incredible year. Filled with so many exciting moments, it seems like a dream. But I am looking forward to watching someone else start down that same road in July. Christy and I hope you'll join us here on CBS July 25th for the Miss Teen USA pageant, live from San Bernardino, California. Thank you, Christy, and congratulations on an outstanding year. And I'll see you in California. See you there. <laughs> but before we do anything else, we have a new Miss Universe to meet. And that'll happen right after this from Secret, the official antiperspirant of the 1988 Miss Universe pageant. <laughs> It's time now for the reigning title holder to take her traditional walk, offer her words of farewell, and accept our congratulations on a job well done. Here's Miss Universe 1987, Cecilia Beloco. Tonight is a very special night. Just look into my eyes and you will see what all of you as friends all around the world, from Singapore to the Republic of China, in more than 20 countries, have given me and have made grow inside of me. Love and gratitude for each and every one of you. And there's no possible way I could ever forget nor erase from my mind and heart every single word I've heard and every single face and smile I've seen. A ti, mi querido Chile, gracias por tu apoyo. A ti, papá, por tu fuerza y confianza. Y a ti, mamá, por darme esa inmensa paz interior. To my successor, my very best wishes. And to all of you, and may God bless you. Hasta siempre. Thank you, Cecilia. Our computer has tabulated the votes of our judges and printed the final result. That printout contains the names of our fourth, third, second, and first runners-up, as well as the name of the new Miss Universe. To assist us with the crowning is Miss Teen USA, Christy Addis. Now, these results have been reviewed by representatives of the international accounting firm of Ernst & Winnie, and will be given to me my now, my now, my now, I'm so excited, I'm speaking mumblees, a foreign language here. Mr. Mark Ward has given me the final results. And here we go. Before we do, I want to congratulate personally every contestant in this pageant. I think their families and their countries must be very proud tonight. They've shown us an example of just how the world can work and how beautiful it can be, and we thank you for that. Ladies, your moment has arrived. The fourth runner-up is...
dismiss Hong Kong. The third runner-up, Miss Japan. The second runner-up is Miss Mexico. Ladies. I'm about to name our first runner-up and the new Miss Universe. Now, both are important roles because should the new Miss Universe for any reason be able to be unable to complete her reign, then the first runner-up becomes Miss Universe. The first runner-up, Miss Korea, Miss Universe, is Miss Thailand. Born to Akira Kano. Miss Universe, 1988. You're now the new Miss Universe. You've won all the cash awards, the magnificent prizes, totaling almost a quarter of a million dollars. And now, as your predecessor, Cecilia Beloco, reads the Miss Universe Creed, please take the traditional walk of the new Miss Universe. Pontiff Naki Rodkano. Representing the countries in the Miss Universe pageant in order to further the cause of international peace, justice, and mutual understanding, to solemnly dedicate ourselves to the highest ideals of sportsmanship, friendship, and goodwill. This is Alan Thick with our new Miss Universe, Porn Tip Naki Ronkanok. We thank you for joining us here at Taipei, Republic of China. Be good to everybody. Good night. For all of us, this has been a night to remember. But for Miss Thailand, Port Nip Naki Run Canuck, it's a night that has forever changed her life. She is the new Miss Universe, and the world is waiting to celebrate her victory. On behalf of Alan Thick and everyone connected with the Miss Universe pageant, thank you and good night. Stay tuned for the Eyewitness News Update with Jennifer Whitney. Next, here on Channel 47. This weekend, the NBA playoffs continue on CBS Sports with conference final action Saturday and Sunday at 3.30 Eastern. This is CBS.